Hi, in this tutorial, I will be hosting a static website on Amazon S3. So Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, can host a static websites without the need for a web server. The website is highly performant and scalable at the friction of the cost of a traditional web server. So it's pay as you go. Amazon S3 is a storage for the cloud, providing you with secure, durable, high scalable object storage. It also has a simple web interface, allow you to store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere on the web. So in this figure here, we are going to talk about the architecture of today's tutorial. So here we have the cloud AWS and we are going to create an S3 bucket. Then inside this bucket, we are going to upload the website files such as index.html, uh, error.html and such. And also we are going to set permissions to allow, to allow a public access uh, for or reading public access for the website files so the client from outside can see the website and then we are going to use the public dns uh, as an endpoint to access to the website so once you are inside your aws aws management console um, you see the find services i'm going to type in s3 scalable storage in the cloud i'm going to select this now i'm going to create bucket uh, here ask me for the name so this is this the name it's going to be unique name so I'm going to type in my unique name here it's going to be my uh, channel name and your region I have my region here to Central Canada I'm going to click on next I'm going to click on next uh, here click next and permissions next create pocket and now i do have my own so i'm going to click on this pocket and here i see overview tab properties permission management access points um, next i want to go ahead and upload the files so by clicking on upload I'm going to add the website files, click on add files. So here I do have two sample files, which is the error.html and the index.html for file for my website. I'm going to click on open, then I'm going to click on upload. And now I do have the two files uh, objects in my storage cloud on AWS. Uh, next, I want to allow the static uh, website, uh, static uh, hosting. For my website in the s3 bucket so the properties tab here we see static website uh, hosting option and i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to select use this bucket for to host a website and here ask me for the index document and the error document so the index is going to be index these are the files that the bucket will refer to for the static website the one that we just download uploaded so these two files click on save now uh, the static website it's enabled and we do have the dns public endpoint so if we click on this one just to test so as you see here it says 403 forbidden and the reason is is because the objects uh, the website uh, objects which is our the index and errors are not public uh, publicly ac access so access denied and this is a permission thing so we have to allow uh, the uh, we have to allow this under permissions so if we go to back to the s3 management console and we have two options to allow uh, the per the public access is either by going to each file so if i go to the error.html and click on this one So 
So if I click on this error one and from the right side, I see properties. And here's the properties and I see permissions tab. So if the, in the, under the permission tabs, I see everyone. So public access, if I click on everyone here, you give me the permission that I want to set. And if I click on read, it says this object will have public access. Another option is to set permission directly through the main S3 bucket. So if we go back to the uh, main uh, S3 bucket uh, menu and click on permissions. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, be on the pu uh, block public access option and I'm going to click on edit. Here, I'm going to sell to type in. I'm going to and deselect block all public access. Then I'm going to save. Here, I'm going to type in confirm to confirm the changes. And I'm going to click on confirm. So now the block all public access is off. Next, I want to set a public policy. So here I do have a public policy that I want to uh, set for this S3 pocket. So here I'm just going to paste and I'm going to leave this in the description of this video and basically is saying that uh, allow all the allow all the object to be publicly accessed for this S3 pocket. I'm going to click on save and here if you notice this bucket has public access right now so if we go back to properties and click on static website hosting and I'm going to select the endpoint here let's do the test and yes here now I see the access to the index.html so now we have a good indication that the static website is now set up successfully on the AWS Amazon uh, S3 bucket and let's also test our 404 error page right so if we go to the URL and go ahead and do forward slash and type in search and hit enter okay so since we don't have search in this uh, website now the error page is successfully working as well. So sorry, we couldn't find this page. And this is the error page that I set up in my sample um, test uh, website test. So you also do have the options to register with the route 53, which is the domain service provided by AWS uh, to have your own, your own unique domain. And you have to pay for that by year and going to the s3 pocket you're going to select redirect traffic to your domain so instead of using this uh, amazon url you're going to use your unique uh, domain for your static website uh, that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching talk to you next time bye